almost missed him. Moving on, you know, this Bow Wow Lou Romeo beef has to be the most ridiculous beef in history. I mean, ever. Neither one of them are hood. They've had a lot of money for most of their life. I can't even really say their adult life because they just got pubes not that long ago. Okay, they're real young kids. Okay, but they're coming off looking real, real hard. I know they are on their Omarion grease up my chest thing already, and it's, it's really ridiculous. Okay, y'all got money, but I mean, what do y'all fight for? Respect? No, it's not gonna happen. Be who you are. I mean, don't don't try to be anything more than what you can be. Don't be acting hard. And I got a problem with him. And I'm beefing. And we back. I mean, y'all backstage at the Nickelodeon Awards beefing. Not the Soul Awards. Not the Vibe Awards. They're at the Teen People's Choice Awards. I don't like him. I don't like you neither. Y'all need to chill out. Chill. And in the new video with Romeo. Larry, absolutely. Of course, um, I'm sure you heard about the Sierra Bow breakup. We did that for Halloween. We were wrong then, but we are right now. So if you are in Atlanta and you see her, holler. What did I say before? She look like she's ugly. You gotta show. I ain't saying disrespect her, but just don't let her get away with the stuff you would normally let a pretty girl get away with. I have to break it down later, y'all still don't understand it, but she's out there and she's available. We give her two stars on the floozies countdown. Y'all better go after her. Um, Eddie Murphy and Nicole Murphy have finally uh, finished through with their divorce. So I give Nicole Murphy three stars because she's getting some major paper efforts and she's still looking really hot. She got a lot of children, that's the only problem. She got like, they got like five kids, and to be with a woman like that, you, you have to be ready to be somebody's daddy long term. But if you can suck it up, there's some good money there. So I give her three stars, if you're interested, three stars. Um, of course, we know Kamora Lee Simmons and Russell Simmons were going through some stuff, but I only rate Kamora at a one and a half. And here's why. See, I'm not really sure if you can really slide in long term. Okay? You might be able to get in there short and see her in all her nudity glory, but really we want long term finances, and that might not be available, even though she's done a wonderful job building up her own reputation as a businesswoman. I think Russell still fits in there somewhere, and so I only give her one and a half stars because the I, I'm not, I can't really see the extended outlook on her availability. But if you, but I wouldn't, I won't knock you because it could turn to a full star now. It could turn to a full star real easy. Uh, I got a question. I got MTV Jams and I always, always see this video on Jam. It's the new rating video with a nine down. And if you know a nine I mean, let her know I think she's beautiful. I think she's talented. I was surprised her, her talk show didn't work out a few years back. But if you're trying to get back to an A-list level, a surefire way not to let that happen is by making out with Ray J in a video. If that should do, y'all hollering, I will retract my statement and I'll let it pass. But if you are just doing this on like a humble dream and that's my people, I want to do a video, he's not the right one. His voice cracks so damn much, I cannot believe anyone does not want to punch him in the face when they see him. And you hugging up, and you are in like your mid thirties? I mean, she was in the shy video. Like, the baby I'm your, like that old joint. Yes, she's in that video, so that's dating you, you're at least 36. You can't be rolling around no Ray J. Have some class. Let that shit man. If it's not to me, have some class. Something else I want to bring to your attention. Here is our four star gold floozy unions pick. Now, it's somebody we already knew who was the boy, and that's Gabrielle Union. 
I'm cool. Okay, she divorced her husband, Chris Howard. And of course, every rapper, every actor has called her up and attempts to hide. But here's the newest fact that I want to bring your attention. I believe that the reason or the person behind their breakup wasn't Chris, but actually her. And I think she's feeling guilty. What does guilty mean? She's feeling vulnerable. What does vulnerable mean? It means it's a good situation flow up. For our through and through floozy, it's loud She'll always get black, that black movie money. Always. She, she's gorgeous. And she has the best weave in the business. Whoever does her weave, hit me up. Because I got a lot of chicks in Philly who need your assistance. Can you do that for me? Please do. I want to bring I, I told y'all this a long time ago. For anybody who watched the show show for a long time. Girl JoJo, little, you know, my girl, I told y'all she had a thing for colors. And who did she show up to with her movie award um, for the movie RV? None other than Freddie Adu. That's right. I knew she liked brothers. You can always tell when a lady like brothers. It's that swagger. And she had I like a black dude swagger about her. And I was right. I just want to point out to y'all that I told y'all she liked brothers. And who did she show up with? None other than soccer legend Freddie Adu. He ain't the thuggest dude in the world, but he's still And now we at the end of another fan Happiness episode of the show show. I am so happy I was able to do an episode of the show show this week. Uh, in the altar call section, I definitely want to give condolences to the families and friends of Proof from Detroit who passed away. We all don't we don't know the details, but we do know that two brothers have lost their lives, and I'm sick of it. Please end the violence in the city of Detroit, in Philadelphia, and everywhere across the country, if possible. If we could just have one day. Everybody could just make it to the next day. I think I. And of course, on a personal note, I definitely want to give condolences to my own family for the passing of my grandfather, Joseph Tennell Foster Sr. My grandpa passed away. But you know what? He's with Jesus now, eating ribs. He wasn't able to eat ribs when he was here because we suffer from high blood pressure. I don't suffer from it yet, but there will be a day when I can't have ribs to eat. And I know my grandfather is up, up in heaven with Jesus eating a rib at a barbecue about to play some big risk. So I ain't that worried. To my dad and the rest of my family, we'll hold each other down through these times. We're good. Why are we good? Because I'm bored and beautiful. And I'm the man. Damn it. Thanks for another episode of the show show. I'll be here next week. I'm doing another episode because I feel so good about this one. Doing it again this weekend. Huh?